Okay, boys and girls, today for math, we're going to be reading some word problems just like we did in class. So remember, word problems are math problems that are that have a lot of words. They're read to us in words. They still have numbers, but they also have words. So today, our math problem is going to be, they're going to be word problems to help us figure out how many groups of 10 there are in something. So remember, these represent my groups of 10. And they're called tens because there are 10 cubes in them, right? So this group of 10 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is called a 10, right? Because there are 10 ones. Remember, this is called a one. There are 10 ones put together, so they become a 10. All right, some of the words we're going to be using today, you're going to be using, this is a special math word, special math term. You're going to be using something called a table, just like we did in class. Remember, this is called a table. Say it with me. Table. And this is not the kind of table where you eat dinner on, right? This is not the same kind of table that you eat dinner on. This is a math table. And in a math table, I can use this math table to help me solve my word problem. So remember, this is a table. Just like the one you have dinner on, it, it sounds like it, but it's not the same thing. Okay, this table isn't serving up tacos. This table is serving up numbers. So let's get started. We're gonna find page 384 in your math book. Page 384. 384 in your math book. Okay. Right off the bat, when I look at this page, I see my table, my math table. There are three math tables on this page. How many math tables? Three. Okay, let's get started. Number one says, Mara has three groups of 10 balls. How many balls does Mara have in all? Okay, we're gonna underline our numbers. Mara has, she has three groups of 10. We know that this is one group of 10, right? We want to find out how, merit, how many Mara has in all. Remember, in all gives us a hint that we're probably going to add. <clears throat> so on my table, I have two parts. It says group and balls. I have three groups. Do you notice something about the table? What do you notice about the table? Okay, so it says Mara has three groups and under the section where it says group, we have one, two, three spots. So that means that this is gonna be group one, group two, and group three. And the way we read a table is on this part, it tells us what this represents. On this part, it tells us what this represents. But then these line up this way too. Group one, how many? So in group one, she has told us she has three groups of 10. So after group one, she has 10. 
and then she has two groups. So now she has, how many does she have all together after two groups? 10, 20. Okay, now she has three groups of 10. How many does she have all together now? 10, 20, 30. Okay, so if Mara has three groups of 10, how many balls does she have all together? She has 30 all together. And we can check that by knowing that three groups of 10 makes 30. 10, 20, 30. Three groups of 10 is 30. Okay, let's read the next one. There are 10 ducks in each pond. <laughs> Look at these ducks. How many ducks are there in four ponds? Okay, so we know that there are 10 ducks in each pond. And there are four ponds. So we want to know how many there are in four ponds. Okay, let's look at our table. Our table can help us. Okay, I have to picture this in my mind. So can you guys picture this? There are 10 ducks in each pond. I need you to really visualize this. Close your eyes if it helps. There are 10 ducks in each pond. And there are four ponds. So how many ducks are there gonna be all together? There are 10 ducks in each pond, but there's four ponds. Hmm, so how many ducks are there all together? Can you guys see that in your mind? Can you see the ponds? Can you see the groups of 10 in each pond? So it would look something like this, right? This is one pond and it has 10 little duckies in it. This pond has 10 little duckies in it because each pond has 10 ducks, but there's four of these. There's four of these little ponds. So we wanna figure out how many there are all together. If we were to count all the duckies from all the ponds, how many, how many ducks are there all together? It tells us in our problem there's 10 ducks in each pond, but there's four ponds. So we're gonna use our table to help us figure out. On this side, we're gonna keep track of how many ponds there are one pond, two ponds, three ponds, four. There's four ponds all together. And in each pond, there's 10 duckies. So in pond one, there's 10 duckies. Okay, there's 10 duckies here. But then if I put these two ponds together, how many duckies are there? There's 10, 20. There's 20 ducks. Okay, now if I have three ponds, how many are there? 10, 20, 30. And if there's four ponds, there's 10, 20, 30, 40. So how many duckies are there in four ponds all together? There's 40 ducks. Okay, let's read our last one. Number three says, to whistle, to, toy whistles are sold in bags of 10. Okay. 
So how many whistles are there in each bag? There are 10 whistles in each bag. Alexis needs 50 whistles. Oh, she needs 50 whistles. How many bags should she buy? Okay, so we know that in each baggie there's 10. But she doesn't just need 10. She needs 50 whistles. So how many of these baggies should she buy? On our table, on this side, we're gonna keep track of the number of baggies and how many whistles, excuse me. So if each baggie has 10 whistles, one baggie will have 10, Two baggies will have how many? 20. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys finish that one on your own. You tell me how many baggies is she gonna need? I don't need to know how many whistles. I need to know how many bags.